Here in the Northern Hemisphere, it is starting to become that time where many of us are starting to put the toys away for the winter, but some people just won't let go. No matter what, they still want to go out there, rip it up, and have a good time with the best of them. Yeah, I realize you Southern Hemisphere boys are just getting started, but still, it's a sad day for us here. But don't worry, guys, we still got plenty of content to pull you through the winter here on Boneheaded Butters of the Week. Welcome back, guys. This is your boy Broncos Guru, and let's get this one started. Our first subject we're going to discuss this week is going to be the boat launch. Sometimes here in North America, I forget how blessed we are to have some beautiful boat ramps. But most people around the world don't always have that luxury, and well, they got to find unique ways to get these boats launched, just like can be seen in these video clips here where this tractor's pushing this vessel out into the water. But somehow something's gone wrong with this push off, and apparently this boat has lost steering. It will cruise just a little bit up the coast, and all of a sudden, well, it's going to get caught in the surf, and these waves are going to capsize the vessel. These guys have had a short day of fishing. This this video should just serve as a good reminder for those of us who are blessed to have beautiful boat ramps and not having to do crazy stuff like this that we really are lucky and there are other people in the world who have it just a little bit harder than us. So the next time you're down at the ramp, waiting in a line of 10 cars, complaining because somebody's loading their boat on the ramp with coolers, just remember it could always be a little bit worse. And just because we got beautiful boat ramps sometimes doesn't mean you're going to have the proper equipment to launch, but you know what? That's never going to stop anybody from trying to get out there and get their boat in the water. As you guys can see here, these guys obviously didn't have the equipment they needed to get that boat in the water, but it didn't stop them, and somehow they got it launched. And you know what? They got a free car wash in the process as well. Then there's always another one of my favorite ones down at the boat launch, and that's when you decide you're going to launch the boat by yourself. You need a little of you time, where you don't want to bring any other people with you out on the boat, but you still need that extra hand getting the boat launched. So you go ahead and bring Rover along and decide, you know what? If anybody can help me out, Rover can get the job done, and apparently he really can. Then, of course, you've got the real action of the boat launch, and that doesn't come from the launch of a vessel. That absolutely always comes from the retrieval of a vessel. And everybody's always got their own cool way of doing this, and some people are just a little more efficient at doing it than others. And this will bring us to our next section this week, and that'll be getting stuck. It doesn't matter how long you voted for. It's going to happen to just about everybody at some point in time. You're going to go out there having a great day on the water, and, well, you're just going to mess up. You're not going to follow the GPS or you're going to just not know the water that well and wind up stuck on a sandbar somewhere. But there's several ways to get stuck on the water, and it's not always a sandbar. Sometimes you'll be out there with the boys, and well, you'll just lose propulsion somehow. And when you lose propulsion, you wind up getting stuck out on the water as well. Some people will find crazier ways to get stuck than most. But you know you've really made it when the tour boat operator decides he needs to stop to get a picture of you stuck in the bridge. Here you can see this vessel's trying to pull him out, but they're not really getting anywhere. And sometimes you'll get stuck before you even make it to the water. Our last subject this week is going to be things you wish you had not done. Kind of like that time you decided you were going to take your friend's dad's boat out. You let your friend's dad know you've driven the boat a hundred times. You've got this. This is your thing. Only to get out there and your girlfriend's quickly going to realize, well, that you don't necessarily have this and you've probably never driven a boat before. Here you can see she's desperately trying to save her father's boat. But you know what? Things aren't looking so well. Or how about that time your friend said, hey man, you want to try driving the jet boat? And you said, sure. And this one's always a fun one right here. You and the boys about a week ago went out and had a great time fishing. But for some reason, somebody forgot to clean out the bait cooler and you volunteered to go down there and do it. And you immediately regretted that decision. Kind of like this gentleman here. I absolutely bet this is one of the last times he ever leaves that boat without double checking that bait cooler to make sure it's clean. Because it's one of the most disgusting things ever when this happens and it sits around for a week. Speaking of things you wish you had not done, I have a personal one this week. I've been bugging my wife for several months to go ahead and start a YouTube channel. And this past week, she actually finally agreed agreed to do it. They decided they wanted to do some food blogs where they go around amusement parks eating things, but they made one rookie mistake in doing this. They let me, the Mad Hatter himself, kind of direct this thing and get behind the camera and well, things would go exactly about how you would think they would go if you left me in charge of something like this. No. <laughs> it smells like soap. <laughs> Oh, it's burning my throat? 
It's burning my tongue. It's burning my mouth. And I will never forgive you for this. So head over to her channel and check that full video out. I'll leave a link in the description below. We'll go ahead and leave a link right up here at the top of the screen as well. And we haven't done a giveaway in a couple weeks, so we're gonna go ahead and do a giveaway on her channel. Head over to her channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment. You do all three of those things, we're gonna pick the, her favorite comment, and somebody's gonna win a Drain Plug Mafia Tumblr. Also, you'll wanna follow on that channel over there, because that channel's gonna be a little more interactive. We're gonna give some of you guys shots to run around amusement parks and eat with her as well. Thanks for watching, guys. If you ever see anything crazy happening on your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know and you might see your stories over here. Just like Edder Edge King, Fred Holm Carl, Jamie Hoffey, Lost Moto Vlogs, Mark Jackson 2008, Michael Gooden, and Jonas Buff did this week. And if you haven't already guys, go ahead and drop an anchor on that subscribe button.